Welcome to the Joomla Ecstasy City Life template tutorial. And this tutorial is the introductory tutorial where we're going to go over the basic template styles and show you everything about it. In the next video, we're going to go over the administration of the site. So let's jump right in here. Okay, so as you see, we've got a nice big slide here. And City Life also features a single page web design. So we actually have anchor links up here so you can actually scroll to different stuff on the home page. So let's go here to culture. Okay, we have a nice CSS3 slide in here and some parallax effects on the background images. So let's check out events, lifestyle, travel, arts, contact, and here we have the ACY mailing module so you can subscribe people to your newsletter. Uh, let's go back here to the home link and as you see this would be a perfect website for say a city portal or when we were building it we considered what a great thing this would be for like a web design agency where you have your big thing here about your agency and then you scroll down here and you know business cards in the background you know web design and so on um, this would also be great for say maybe even a, like a hotel site where you have got your hotel and your features and everything each one of these modules that are in here is the K2 content wall. Uh, the read more takes you right to a single article. The explorer takes you to the category. So let's go ahead and check out the sub pages here. From this main menu, we actually have <coughs> the links here for the demo content. Once you click on one of these links, we switch the main menu out because we don't want to have these anchor links on sub pages because these really only pertain to the home page. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, Joomla content. So when we go to Joomla content, see we have a nice layout here and this layout is called our left large layout and it features a large article here, two smaller articles here, and four down here. And see we have a nice style for this and then we can go here to our menu now. So as you see it's the home features Joomla content extension styles and if we go to the article layout of Joomla content, we have the main image here, the title, all the additional information is over here, including links. And then this, this is the full text. We have installed Comento here, the free edition from our friends over at Stack Ideas, which is a great free commenting component. And your print and email. Over here we have the search module, another subscribe module, and more articles. This again is our K2 content wall. So we can check out the two column blog. And then we have our left featured that you've already seen. There's the right featured. And center featured. So let's go over here and check out the extensions. We've included K2 because we use K2 on the home page and for most of the content. So if we check out the K2 category, here's the two column category, and then we'll check out the K2 item. So you have your main image here, the image gallery is here, then you have your title and here's all the other information such as the user, the date created, the tags, the extra fields, the modified and everything and then you've got your media here with your large image and then you've got the K2 comments here we've disabled this for the demo and the more in this category. So let's check out um, the other styles now and then we'll go over the module positions. So here's style one scroll through with the anchor links here to go to the different areas and then let's check out style 2 which you've already seen let's go to style 3 actually you've already seen style 3 sorry about that let's go back to style 2 here okay style 2 style 2 is a lighter theme and we use some different images in here. As you see, we're actually using images of Tampa, which is where the main offices for Joomla Ecstasy is in Tampa, Florida. And we can go to events, lifestyle, 
travel, arts, contact, and now let's check out the final style, style 4. And in this style we actually have no borders as you see, and uh, you can really check out the parallax effect, it looks really nice here in this style. As the pictures move, so does the background. And go back to contact. Okay, let's head over here to style 1. Okay, let's discuss these module positions that we have here. So, if you're not familiar with Joomla templates, uh, all of our templates are based on regions. So if we go over here to the layout, I can explain the regions a little more. So up here in the top, we have our logo, we have menu bar left, menu right one and menu right two. The social networking is in menu right one. Inset is in region one, that's where our big image is. And then we have region two, this is more user positions. Region three holds the Joomla component and your basic left and right and some more module positions above and below the component. Region four is here, region five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And each of these regions can have a background image on them and it can also have a background image inside of them. So what we're doing here on the home page is you have region one here, so we have this background image. This is region two. Region three is off right now because that holds a component. We don't have it shown on the home page. So this is region four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you see we have a background image for each region, and that's how we achieve this layout. So like I said, we've got the logo over here, and the logo you can change from the back end of the template. You just upload your logo to the template and then you select from the back end. This is a menu bar left. And this is the sucker fish layout. We also have a dual fish layout for two column. This is menu right one which we're using our socializer wall module to display these links. And then you have your K2 content wall here. This is in the inset position and it's one K2 content wall with the category title, the intro text for the category description, and a link to a single article and a link to the category. Here we have region 2, and this is user 1. Same thing here, this is the category title of the K2 category, the description, and links. And this would be the next module. And this module is in the user 13. Again, it's the K2 content wall. And then we go down here to the recreation and lifestyle area. This is user 19. Then we have user 25. Then here we have the arts and entertainment area. And that's in user 31. And then here at the bottom, we have user 37. And then we have the footer here. And this is the ACY mailing module. And all these modules you see here in these user positions, the K2 content walls, they're all driven off of a core template that, that you can have inside of the K2 content wall. So they're basically all using the same markup. They're just pointed to different categories. So let's take a moment and let's go over the responsive nature of the website. The concept of a responsive website is that it's actually going to scale to whatever device you're on. So there's really no need to have a separate mobile template for your devices other than your regular site. In this template we've included the feature to go ahead and use the responsive feature or if you don't want to have the responsive feature you can disable it. We've also included a mobile template if you want to change the template when it's viewed on a mobile device. So let's go ahead and check out the website as we scale it in here and pull the browser in. As you see, we, we're pulling it in. The menu comes over. All the content's moving over nicely. The menu gets a little smaller up here as we pull it in. Then we pull in even more. It comes over. Then you pull in even more. Then once you get here, you're at the mobile level. And this is your mobile menu and then we pull it in even more here and you'll see that 
Everything's nice and looks perfect. Now we're going to come in more and a little more and boop, we pop right here and this is when we start to get into say your tablet view. Once you're in tablet view none of these items slide in. They're all here and it becomes smaller so you can view it. We also switch the background images here so we're not using the large background images so we're not delivering huge file sizes to the device. We'll go over that when we start with the next tutorial which is going to be about the administration and setup of the template. So let's go ahead and pull it all the way in here till we can get down to like a phone level. So now we're down to just about close to the phone level. Pull it in like this and here you go. We've delivered it to a phone and it looks beautiful. And it looks just like the original template, just scaled for the phone. We can go over here and check out a couple of the sub pages and how that works with the responsive. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, K2 item page. So we're going to go ahead and pull this in and you're going to see the same effect here. Things are going to pull in. Things get smaller over here on the right column until they finally collapse underneath the main content. And then it expands here and as you see these images get larger and it goes into a two column. Let's go ahead and pull it in even more here. Okay, so now we can scroll down and you see you have your article here. And everything that was on the left now is down here. So you can see the details and the user. The video scales. Now you have your right column down here. And as you see when we go, the right column becomes small like this. We show the intro image. So as you see, the site is perfect for any device that you're on. And of course now, if you don't want to deliver the responsive template to a phone or you don't want it to be responsive, you can just go ahead and turn that feature off in the back end. And then when someone's on a device, they'll have to uh, pinch and grab and zoom in on things. So that's the basic overview of the City Life template. I'm going to go ahead and make you the new tutorial video for the administration of the site and show you a bit about how we do the anchor links here and how we switch the menu out when you go to a sub page and how K2 is set up and how to set up your images. Uh, of course you can always go to our website and go to the Joomla documentation area and check out the online docs that explain everything to you right there and include these videos. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope you look forward to using City Life for your next project. We'll see you in the next video.